Oh, hey boys and girls, what's up third grade? Welcome to week six here at the Nora Panther Cub Gym. It is Mr. Dalton. Excuse me, I got a little hiccups this morning. I just had breakfast and coffee. Actually, I drank some green tea in the morning. I don't, excuse me. Mr. Dalton, stop and drink coffee. Ooh. I'd be profiled this week, courageous. It's important to show courage and try new things. Get outside your comfort zone. IB attitude is independent third grade. You are expected to be more independent now. I can trust you and you can have more responsibility, okay? I understand that during this time, it is hard for mommy, daddy, or Mr. Dalton, or grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle to always make sure you're doing your work. So we need you to make sure you're being independent and working and practicing on those things on your own time, okay? Remember, rolling today. When we roll, there's what? No bounces, exactly. We wanna make sure you have rolling mastered so we can do our bowling unit for when you come back to Nora Elementary. And we're gonna be introducing underhand tossing today. Third grade, I know you say you know what that is, and I know you know what it looks like, but sometimes as third graders, we forget how to always underhand toss. And in fourth and fifth grade, and even in third grade sometimes when we come back to the Panther Cup gym, we do a lot of games where you cannot roll or you cannot overhand throw. You have to make sure you're underhand tossing. So we're going to be going over that today as well. All right. So, boys and girls, I'm going to do a little warm up for you. It is September 11th today. So Mr. Dalton is decked out in his red, white, and blue today. September 11th, I will never forget, I was in the sixth grade, boys and girls, it was a day in history, and it is important to remember that day today, the fallen heroes and people that lost loved ones. But, you know what, let's do some plyos to get warmed up, let's just jump on two feet, yeah, just jump it, we're jumping on one foot, yeah, we're just jumping fast as we can, as soon as we touch, we're jumping up, we're going to do some jumping jacks. Yeah, yeah, because this don't need to warm up with y'all. You know what I mean? Oops, I kicked my basket. Now we're going to jump higher, 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 higher. Let's do some squats. Squat. Squat. Good. Let's do some squat jumps. Yep, just like that. Run. Run, 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 run. Faster, 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 faster for me. Okay. Now, third grade. Show me how independent you are. And please pause the video, complete all of our stretches for 10 seconds, okay? Lean left, right, straight down. Then, can you click on your blue resources and activities and games link and select two of our dynamic stretches, all right? Then get a ball and come back. Okay, boys and girls, you can roll to a partner, you can get a target on the wall. I want you to practice the four cues of rolling and make sure we're rolling with no bounces. So get a partner, get a wall or pick a target. Remember, we're going to step with our opposite foot, pendulum swing your arm, get low, and our hand follows the ball where we want it to go. It did not roll, see? It did not bounce, I mean, sorry, boys and girls. I want you to do that 10 times. Then, boys and girls, after you've done that 10 times, get a basket, a bucket, anything, or some kind of target, okay? Put it up somewhere. And if you want to, boys and girls, you can make it more difficult and get way farther back this time if you want to okay so mr dalton's going to show you i want you to get a target or maybe set up pins like we did last week and i want you to practice with your four cues stepping pencil swing get low follow the ball mm. see mr dalton's ball went left 
I want you to practice your rolling and try to get it into a basket or knock your pins over 10 times. See, it's hard. Mr. Dalton has not mastered rolling yet. He needs to keep working on it. Takes independence and being independent. Got it. Oh, it did come out though. Okay. Now, boys and girls, once you've done that, I want you to take your basket or bucket or trash can, whatever you're using. And I'm going to use a different bowl this time. It's a fluffy bowl, bean bag works, a small bowl, whatever. And you're going, you just want something that doesn't bounce. When we're tossing, boys and girls, we don't want to get as low. And we want to release the ball at about our waist level. So we want three cues, stepping, pendulum swing, follow through, okay? We want to step and follow the ball towards our target. So I'm going to start close and try those three cues. Try to toss it into the bucket. Good. Then I can get back farther away. Tossing it into the bucket. That's all I'm doing, boys and girls. By following the three cues, I'm going to get back farther. Step, pendulum swing, follow through. Whew. Okay. I got it. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to show you a really fun game you can set up to practice. But this is what Mr. Dalton does. There used to be a show on TV called Bozo's Grand Prize Game. And, boys and girls, if you got picked for the show, you got to come down and use a ping pong ball and toss them into these buckets. And once you make it into a bucket, you get a try for the farther bucket. If you get to the very, very end, you would win Bozo's grand prize game. So, Mr. Dalton has three buckets set up, and I've put tennis balls in them to weigh them down so they don't fall over. I'm using just a bean bag. You could use anything. Boys and girls, you could take two socks and put them together and make a little softball. That's great. Now, watch. Following my three cues of underhand tossing. I'm going to start behind a line, and I'm going to try to toss it into the first bucket. Hang it. Now I get it over the second bucket. Oh, you missed it. Mr. Dalton's going to try it again behind the line. Step in. Baby. I did a really good job of following through. Now I get it over the floor. Ready? Oh, Mr. Dalton, baby, yeah, oh, 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 oh. Alright, boys and girls, I hope you come up with a cool way and a fun way to practice your underhand toss and review your rolling. Practice your independence. I miss you and love you. Bye, third grade.